Seer 2. What is it? Maybe you didn't even know what Seer was, and now we're going to talk about Seer 2. Where are we going with all this? What does it all mean? Now that we are starting to see more regulations from the government come out, I predicted years ago, and it's nothing that I predicted. It's, it's not like I'm the guru or anything, but I was regurgitating what I was hearing from other folks in our industry, and I remember some of the folks commenting on those videos, so you can go back and look through the comments and see where people were telling me. I didn't know what I was talking about, and blah, blah, blah. Blah, but ultimately, I predicted back then, based on the information I was hearing, that they were going to eventually do away with SEER in one way, shape, or form. As we're seeing newer technologies and inverter systems, SEER is not the best measurement, if you will. So now they're coming out with SEER 2, and I'm going to go ahead and predict again that sometime in the future that they're going to do away with SEER 2 as well, that they're going to have to come out with some better ratings to basically have a way that folks can compare apples to apples, especially especially now that we're starting to see these newer technologies come out with inverter systems. So not all inverter systems are created equal. So it used to be you had your single stage systems, you had your multi-stage systems, and then you had your inverter systems when it came to efficiency. And now when you compare inverter systems, there's different technologies when it comes to communicating versus non-communicating, Bosch and Allied with their new Lynx line, and then also Greeflex. I think we're gonna find out that not all inverter systems are created equal as well. The point of this video, though, is to talk about SEER 2. SEER 2 stands for Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio 2, and specifically, SEER 2 is the total heat removed from conditioned space during the annual cooling season. So basically, these folks are coming out with these new ways because what they realized when they were comparing SEER, they weren't able to compare apples to apples once these systems were installed in folks' homes. Folks were under the false impression that, hey, I bought this really high efficiency system system, but now I've got this high static system that ductwork sucks, it's undersized, or wasn't installed properly, and now I'm not getting the efficiency that I thought I would. What they were doing with SEER 2 is they're trying to apply it to more real world standards. They're trying to say, hey, in high static conditions, this is the kind of ratings you can expect. One thing you'll notice as you start to compare SEER 2 systems versus SEER systems, that the SEER 2 ratings on average are going to be a little lower. And that's because of the testing. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with the system. It doesn't mean that if you're looking at a 14 SEER 2 system and a 15 SEER system that it's worse. It just means it's a different measurement. In fact, a lot of the 14.3 SEER 2 systems that we're seeing come out are actually higher than 15 SEER, if that makes sense. If you go to SEER2.com, that's where I'm getting some of this information. They have come out with this new testing requirement. It's called M1 testing and and to meet the new testing requirements, manufacturers are redesigning systems components. In fact, all air conditioning and heat pump systems must be renovated by January 1st, 2023. Ultimately, what that means for us as contractors, we're gonna actually be marketing them differently too. So instead of saying, we've got a 14 SEER, a 16 SEER, and a 20 SEER, now you're gonna start to see SEER 2 as the ratings as we're selling systems. In addition to matching components, such as furnaces and air handlers will be redesigned to meet changes in the airflow set point. Depending on your region, additional field installed equipment such as TXVs may also be required. So that's nothing new, but it's something that they're cracking down, it sounds like. They're not gonna be saying, hey, look, this system's compared to this system, they're the same. They're saying, look, now we're taking airflow into effect here too. M1 testing procedures, the goal of the new SEER 2 testing procedures is to better to represent external conditions seen in the field, current SEER testing does not accurately emulate the influence of ductwork and external static pressure on HVAC products. Because of this, it is not often representative of real world applications, as I was just mentioning. By increasing systems external static pressure from current SEER or a 0.1 of water to SEER 2.5 inches of water, new M1 testing procedures more accurately reflect current field conditions. 
conditions. So again, as systems come out, you're gonna see the SEER 2 rating on there. You're gonna see the little energy star or energy guide, that sticker that you're used to seeing on the side of the equipment will now reflect SEER 2 versus SEER even though some of these systems, they may still market them for a while under SEER, because I could see a brand doing that. We'll see. We're not to 2023 yet during the making of this video. I think that you may see companies saying, this SEER too, but it's this SEER, as they're trying to sell these systems. And as long as they meet the minimum requirements, I don't know that the government can do much about that, at least not at this point, unless they were to make laws that prohibit that. But anyway, just to wrap up, of course you're gonna see as we get closer to 2023, and and then as we move into that year, you're going to see where folks are advertising SEER 2. But the other thing I want you to notice is the minimum requirements are going to be a little different as well. So for example, if you live in the southeast of the United States, the minimum requirements for a heat pump system were going to be 15 SEER. So they used to be 14 and now they're going to be 15. They're only going to be 14.3 SEER 2. It'll be interesting to see how companies market this. I think that you're going to see some companies doing one way, maybe other companies doing it another way. Of course, depending on what part of the country you live in, the minimum requirements may be different, but ultimately, again, you're going to see more SEER 2 advertising and less of the SEER as we move along. It, it'll just be interesting to see how folks handle this. Let me know what your thoughts are. Comment down below. You may watch this video in the future and say, yeah, hey, you were wrong on all this. <laughs> we'll see. I appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.